I'm ready to fight Joshua or Klitschko right now. I'm waiting for the opportunity to fight the winner of Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. They better get ready because King Kong will be waiting for them. I'm eager to fight either one. These are the type of fights that people want to see. But in the end, Al Heyman, he will make that decision. Sometimes the youth will beat the experience. But sometimes youth does lack that experience. And therefore, I give a nod to Klitschko based on that to win the fight. Those are the words of Cuban heavyweight contender and mandatory challenger for the WBA super version of the heavyweight title, Luis, the real King Kong Ortiz, talking about getting his opportunity against the winner of Joshua versus Klitschko. He says he's ready, he's waiting for them, and he believes that Klitschko will probably be the guy who emerges on the other side with the W next to his name on his record in the win column. Interesting assessment by Luis Ortiz. Is he selling Anthony Joshua a little bit short? Or perhaps he can see what the Joshua camp, the people who believe Joshua is going to win, can't see. Maybe he sees the vulnerabilities in Joshua's game that he believes Klitschko will be able to exploit. Fighters obviously have a greater understanding of boxing than the average boxing fan does but they get plenty of predictions wrong so boxing is not a sport which people that are not professional participants can't get a good understanding of you know you could be an amateur you could be a person who's maybe never boxed but if you have an eye and you watch the sport for long enough, you can become good at predicting and knowing, well, maybe not knowing, but let's just say predicting how certain fights are going to go based on what you see. So that's not to devalue the opinion of Luis Ortiz at all, but you just have to bear that in mind. Simply because a boxer who is a professional, says a certain person is going to win in his division, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to happen. Um, That's just the nature of the sport. It is unpredictable because you're dealing with a lot of unknowns a lot of the time. In this case with Joshua and Klitschko, is Klitschko over the hill? How badly will the layoff affect him? Was the Tyson Fury fight a sign of rapid decline? Or was it just a bad night at the office? All the time away from the ring have hurt his skills and his reflexes, so on and so forth. Or will he be rejuvenated by the time off, the longest break so far in his professional career? So many questions surrounding Klitschko. And with Joshua, has this fight come too soon? Will he rise to the occasion or crumble under the pressure? He's never been in there with a guy as good as Klitschko before. Amateur or pro. How will he cope with that? Is his chin suspect? Some people believe it is. What's going to happen when Klitschko tags him? What's going to happen if he tags Klitschko? There are just so many questions and so many unknowns going into this fight. And that's why a lot of people are finding it difficult to predict what's going to happen. The proof is in the pudding. We'll find out later on this month. We'll soon see. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about Joshua Klitschko and Luis Ortiz's opinion on who's going to win the fight. Also, drop your opinion about how you think Luis Ortiz would fare against either Klitschko or Joshua. I'll be very interested to know your views on that. So yeah, let me know. It's Hatman, I'm out.